Very good morning, everyone. Today in Max, let's continue with our chapter Addition and Subtraction up to 999. Today, we have the topic Placement of Numbers. So, let's learn how to place the numbers. Only if the numbers are placed correctly, we can do the addition or subtraction. So, let's get started. How to do this? We have 125 plus 4. The number 125 is a 3 digit number and the next number is 4. What about 4? 4 is a 1 digit number. So how can we write this? We have to add 125 plus 4. So if we write 4 here, it's written in the hundreds place. So if there is only 1 digit, it means that there is only 4 ones. So where should we place that 4? Is it in the hundreds place? tens place or ones place that 4 should be placed in the ones place so is this correct no this is not correct so if we when we place this 125 plus 4 4 if you place here in the hundreds place we won't be getting the correct answer so how should we place this this is the correct placement so 125 plus 4 4 is a one digit number and we have to place it here in the one's position and only then we have to add it. So 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 and here in the tens place we have only 2, that 2 will write it here near the answer and in the hundreds place we have 1, there is no other number to add so that 1 also will be writing along with the answer and we get the number 129. Let's check some more examples. We have 352 plus 46. So 352 is a three digit number. We have ones, tens and hundred in the number 352. And what about the second number? It is 46. And in the number 46, we have ones, tens. So how should that be placed? Here it's written 46. That is four is written in the hundreds place and six is written in the tens place. So is this correct? No, this is not correct because it is having four tens and six ones. So how should that be placed? Four should come under the tens place and six should come under the ones place. And after writing this, when you add only, you will be getting the correct answer. So 352 plus 46, that is four has been written in the tens place and six has been written in the ones place. Let's look at the next example. We have 459 minus 5. This time it's subtraction. Even if it's addition or subtraction, the placement of number should be correct. So 459 is a three digit number. We have ones, tens and hundred in the number 459. And what about 5? Five? 5 is a one digit number. So where should that one digit number be placed? Is it in the hundreds position? No, that is wrong. Now 5 has been placed in the 1's position. So is this correct? Yes, because 5 is a 1 digit number and 5 has to be written under the 1's place. So 4, 5, 9 that is 4 hundreds, 5 tens and 9 ones. And here we have in the second row 5 ones. So 459 minus 5. 5 should be written under the 1's place. Only now the placement has been correct. 786 minus 25. 786 is a three digit number and 25 is a two digit number. So we have 700, eight tens and six ones in the number 786. What about 25? We have two tens and five ones. So now here two is written under the hundreds place and five is written in the tens place. Is this correct? No. Now. 2 has been written in the tens place and 5 has been written in the ones place. Now it is correct. So here we have 2 tens and 5 ones and then we have to subtract. Here in your text page number 108 you have the practice coach. Place numbers in the correct columns and solve. So let's look at the first question 754 plus 42. We have a three digit number and a two digit number. So a three digit number we can write seven, five, four. 
Now we have a two digit number. We have four tens and two ones. So where should we place? Should we write it in the hundreds place or tens place? We should write four in the tens place. So here under five we write four and under here four we write the number two. Now it becomes 42. After writing this we have to solve it. So first we will check the ones position. Four plus two is equal to six. Write down here under the ones place. Next, 5 plus 4 is in the tens place. So how much is 5 plus 4? It is 9. And then we have 7 in the hundreds place. There is no other number to calculate. So write 7, we'll write it along with the answer. And we get the answer 796. Likewise, the rest of the exercises, you can do it as homework. Let's move on to the next exercise, fun with max. Tangram is an ancient Chinese puzzle. It has seven geometrical pieces. Solve the sums first and color the pieces as suggested. So here you can see it's a tangram. It's a puzzle. It's a Chinese puzzle and it's having seven geometrical pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here in each piece a sum is given. First we have to find out the answer for this and then numbers in the hundreds place. That is the number, the answer which you get. If you get 2 here in the hundreds place, you have to color that piece red. So now let's look at the first one. 259 plus 228. So you have to solve it and how much you get. In the hundreds place you have to check and then color it accordingly. So we have 9 plus 8 here in the ones place. So how much is 9 plus 8? This 17, so write 7, 1 will carry over, 1 plus 5, 6, 6 plus 2, 8, that 8 right here in the tens place, now we have 2 plus 2 in the hundreds place, 2 plus 2 is 4, so we get the answer 487, so which number did you get in the hundreds place, it is 4, now go to this box and find out the number 4, if you get the number 4 in the hundreds place, you have to color this piece green color. Likewise, you can do all the sums and color the tangram. Next, page number 109, you have max around us. When you go to the market with your parents, try to calculate the total money to be paid for all the items purchased. After you calculate, you can check if it is same as the one that shopkeeper collects. Let us play a short game to learn addition and subtraction better. So what you have to do whenever you are going shopping with your parents, what all items are collected, try to find out the value of that and try to calculate it. And afterwards, check if the shopkeeper has given the right amount. In this way, you can learn addition and subtraction better. Take a printed book. It has page numbers on every page. Open the book randomly and see the page number on the right side. Do not consider any one digit number. Note down the last two digits of the page number. Close the book. It is then your friend's turn to play. He opens a page randomly. Note down the last two digits again. Repeat this for five times each and add all the numbers for each one. Find out whose total is more. Subtract the smaller total from the bigger total. So here, take a printed book and find out the page numbers. It has page numbers on every page. So take the page numbers. Don't take one digit number, take two digit numbers. So you can take any page. That is, you can take randomly the page numbers and not on the two digit numbers. Afterwards, give it to your friend. You can do it with your siblings or parents. Do this five times and then calculate the total and find out which number is bigger and which is smaller. Next, we have Maths Lab activity. Addition and subtraction. Objectives, mental max, addition and subtraction. Materials required, die, counters, paper, pencil and eraser. Method, two to four students can play at a time. Write start. And then write numbers from 1 to 200 and finish on a paper. Take turns for rolling the die and move the counter as many number of places as the digit shown by the top surface of the die. For example, 2 indicates 2 places and 4 means 4 places. 
Follow directions written on the paper and on each turn add or subtract that number on the paper. For example, if we have to jump 3 steps from 6, then we reach at 9, that is 3 plus 6. Directions Skip a turn on 2, jump 3 steps on 6, miss your turn on 10. Continue until both the persons reach the end. The player who reached the finish point first wins. So read the activity and do accordingly that's given here. Now let's move on to page number 110. We have a number puzzle here that is a crossword has been given. You have number of questions here. So first write down these questions in your notebook and try to find out the answer. So here in the top you can see it's written across. Across means the number that we get you have to write it to the right that is to the horizontally. The numbers also have been given here. It is not in the order. You can see that first the number 1 has been given, then number 3 has been given. So that 3 you have to find out in this crossword and write the answer only in the number 3. Here bottom we have down. The numbers we have to write downwards. So first you write down all these questions in your notebook and find out the sums and then we will come to do the crossword here in the textbook. So here in the first question across you have 231 plus 341. So how much it is? 231 plus 341. So in the ones place we have 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Tens place we have 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. And in the hundreds place we have 2 plus 3 that is 5. So we get the number 572. After that find out the number 1 here in the crossword. So here is the number 1. Here you have to write the number 500 and 572. So now we have written the number across. So find out the number here that the question number here and then the answer you have to write it accordingly. And similarly you can do all the rest of the exercises that is given in your text. Next we have my project. Have you ever played an interesting number game? Digits 1, 2 and 3 make 1, 2, 3. Reverse the order. The number is 3, 2, 1. Check and write the difference by subtracting different numbers in the same way for other rows. So it's a game. Here you take 1, 2, 3. And when you reverse 1, 2, 3 what you get? 3, 2, 1. And now we have to subtract 321 minus 123 and the answer is 198. Similarly, you can take any three digit numbers, reverse it and do addition and subtraction. So it's an interesting game. You can try doing it at your home. Next, let's move on to the revision station, page number 111. First, we have write the missing numbers. One has been done for you. You have the addition wheel and subtraction wheel. So what you have to do here, you can see some numbers are given in this wheel and in the middle a number is given. That is here in the addition wheel, 78 is given. So one has been done for you. Here 397 is written. So 319 here in the outer circle it's given. So 319 plus 78, we get the answer 397. So that here it is written straight to 319. Similarly, you can do the rest of the exercises. Here we have subtraction wheel in the same way. In the center you can see 417 and you have numbers in the outer wheel. We have to subtract. So first one you can see 419 and 417 is given. Which is greater? 417 is greater. We have to subtract 417 from 409 and the answer is 8. That is written straight to 409. So now let's check the second number, we have 15, 417 minus 15 we should do. So 417 minus 15, 7 minus 5 is 2, 1 minus 1, 0 and in the hundreds place we have 4, we write it and we get the answer 402. So here straight to 15 what you have to write the number you get 417 minus 15 is equal to 402. Similarly you can complete this exercise also. The next 
we have a word problem. A school library has 543 course books and 341 story books. How many books are there in all? So in a library there are 543 course books and 341 story books. What we have to find out? The total number of books. So for doing this, what are the steps? Number of course books is equal to 543. The next step, number of story books is equal to 341. And what we have to find out? Total number of books that is equal to 543 plus 341. We have to find out the total number of books in the library. So when you get a question like this, you have to do the addition. You have to add 543 plus 341. Now let's add 543 plus 341. We'll start from the ones position. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. And 5 plus 3 is 8. So we get the answer 884. So the total number of books in the library is 884. The third question and fourth question is an activity for you. Now let's check the question. A shopkeeper has 287 books. If he sells 192 books on a particular day, how many books are left with him? So what is the question? A shopkeeper is having 287 books and he sells 192 books. So we have to find out how many books are left with him. So when you get this question, that is we have to find out the books left with him. It should be understood that we have to do subtraction there. So you can do accordingly the third question. Fourth question. A florist has 239 red roses and the rest are orchids. If there are 600 flowers in all, how many orchids are there? So a florist, that is a person who sells flower. So in the, the florist is having 239 red roses and the rest are orchids. If there are 600 flowers in all, so the total number of flowers are 600 and out of that 600, 239 are red roses. What we have to find out? The number of orchids. How many orchids are there? So here also we have to do the subtraction. How many orchids? We have to find out the number of orchids. So the total number of flowers is 600 and the number of red roses is 239. When you subtract that, you get the number of orchids. So these two are activity for you to do. Let's move on to the fifth question. State true or false. A. 123 plus 321 is equal to 444. You have to find out whether 123 plus 321 is 444. If it is correct, you can write true here. If it is not correct, what you have to write? You have to write false there. So let's check the first one. A. 123 plus 321. 123 plus 321. So when you add 3 plus 1, you get 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. And in the hundreds place, we have 1 plus 3 is 4. So we get the answer 444. And they have given 123 plus 321 is equal to 444. So is this answer correct? Yes. So you can write true there. Similarly, complete that exercise. Let's move on to the sixth one. Fill in the blanks with plus or minus. We have to find out whether it is addition or subtraction. That has to be done there. Let's look at the first question. We have 465. 100 is equal to 365. We have to insert the symbol plus or minus there. You can look at the numbers 465, 100 and the answer is 365. If the answer is less than any of these numbers, we can say that subtraction has to be done. So here you can see 465 and 100. 465 is a greater number, but the answer you get is 365. That is lesser number. So we can understand that subtraction has been done. So you can insert the symbol minus here. So 465 minus 100 is equal to 365. Let's move on to the question number B. We have 555, 200 is equal to 755. 
we should find out whether plus or minus should be inserted there that is we should understand whether it is addition or subtraction so look at the numbers 555 200 and the answer you get is 755 755 is greater than these two numbers there you should understand that addition has been done when you add the value increases so there 555 plus 200 is equal to 755 there are other two questions you can do it as homework page number 112 worksheet fill in the blanks given below with the correct terms find these terms in the given grid and color them with different colors so some questions have been given we have to fill in the blanks in this grid that names are hidden we have to find it out so first let's do the fill in the blanks in addition the numbers that are to be added are called they are add-ons so write add-ons here second the resultant term in addition is dash or dash that is when we add when we add the two add-ons the result that we get is called the sum or total so you can write the resultant term in addition is sum or total third one the first term in subtraction is called minuend so write there minuend fourth one the second term in subtraction is called subtrahend Fifth one, the resultant term in subtraction is called. That is the result when we get after subtracting. That is the difference. Now these terms you have to find out here in the grid. That is an activity for you. So with this we finish this chapter. We will be meeting with another new chapter. Till then, thank you.